All right, welcome back, everybody. This is going to be round two of Squad Ops on Operation Nightmare. Uh, I'll be your host. My name is Barton. I'm joined by Tedish still, and uh, still here. <laughs> and we're going to be kicking things off shortly. Ooh, someone yeah, just got banned out of the first round. Oh. Look at that. And it's very important to keep uh, on uh, good behavior. They take everything very seriously, especially during these briefings when things are trying to get communicated and all planned out. Uh, that's unfortunate of him. But anyways, uh, let's go right back into the command structure. So on the INS side this time, we're going to have Best Pony at command. Squad 1 lead is going to be BenBot. Squad 2 is Truth Realm. Squad 3 is being led by Odie Tap. And Squad 4 is being led by Silas. What do you have over there for uh, your command structure? Yeah, it looks like insurgents are running, or excuse me, the U.S. They were insurgents last time, now they're the U.S. Uh, roughly the same uh, same as last time, except the numbers are all screwed up. So XBIT is command, and then one is going to be Shadow Ritual, two Merrick, three Krusty, and four Big Yes. Big Yes is the rifles. Look at that, even got the correct punctuation usage there with the apostrophe. Yeah, I haven't uh, haven't heard anything about what they're planning to do here. Looks like they're still doing uh, individual squad briefs, getting everybody in line, kits assigned and everything. And then I'm sure we'll uh, maybe we can peek in and right. hear what's going on with the uh, platoon brief. Yeah, for sure. Interesting thing that uh, I'm noticing here, I wonder if this is because of how last round played out. So there's another instance on this round where there's a cache that spawned along the Echo Foxtrot line. Uh, so for INS, it's right on the line, but it's just an edge over to the west. So it is in play for INS if they wanted to choose it, but they didn't. They went Delta 8. So... I know last time that they thought because of the intel marker being to the east of the line that there wouldn't be anything in that town when that wasn't the case because the cache was actually to the west. So I wonder if they chose the farther one as like a reverse psychology kind of play to think that because they kind of got hit hard off of that reasoning that the other team is going to think they would do the same, but instead they're not. I don't know. Well, it'll be yeah, it's, interesting. It's showing on this map where the potential mark is in echo seven keypad eight so that could be east of the line but it's probably west of the line so i'm sure the u.s are going to go into that assuming that it's west of the line and uh, not running into the same roll same thing that they just hit before looks like they're getting ready for platoon brief over here look at all those lines Oh, well, that marker was pretty accurate then. I mean, it's right. it's right in uh, Echo 7 Keypad 9 is the actual cache, so that is pretty accurate. Oh, yeah, it's it... probably within 50 meters of it. Mm -hmm. Let's listen in here. Of where we're going to be heading. I'm going to have Squad 4, big, big yes rifles. They're going to set up somewhere in the Gulf 7 Ridge area uh, to suppress, uh, for suppress a fire and also to cover our exfil, which is going to be in Fox 7, keypad 5. The rest of the squads, uh, squad 1 and 2, are going to load up in the trans. They're going to head far north, close to where insurgent resupply is in Gulf 4. They're going to unload. The trans is going to return and pick up the remaining squad, squad 3, and drop at the same locations. Once one and two are dropped at insurgent resupply, they're going to start moving on a squad line uh, to the west, clearing off the hills in the Fox 4 and Echo 4 area. And then they're going to move south from there. The uh, eventual plan is to rally up and meet in the Delta 6 area so that we can uh, flank them on either side, depending on where the cache locations are. So, so it's going to be a fluid kind of an assault. So phase one's reconnaissance, figuring out where they are. Phase two is assaulting, and phase three is exfilling. So once again, just like before, all we have to do is do one thing: is either kill the high-value target, that is the insurgent with the G3 rifle, or take out their FOB cache location. So when we're clearing, please stay out of the compounds. The uh, the only reason we need to be going into compounds is if we feel that the cache location or high value target is in them. Otherwise, I would like you guys to avoid the compounds that are deadly mess. 
Uh, just remember, if you're by bypassing compounds, that the enemy may be in there laying and waiting. So have good security when you pass them, so that we don't get uh, you know screwed up from behind. Any comments, questions? Uh, can my squad be running up the road while the transport goes to pick us up? That way they can meet Absolutely. us in the middle kind of thing? Okay. Absolutely. They're the MVP squad anyways, I hear, so they can jog it out. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I got. For the britches. All right. Have a good round and see you on the that's, side, uh, man. Uh, yeah, That's a very time. interesting, so I, you probably couldn't hear that, Barton, but he was saying, telling his guys to not go into compounds and clear them because uh, it's a bloody mess, was I believe the phrase. So uh, that's an interesting call because uh, you might be leaving a little lion's nest right behind you that's going to pop out and shoot you in the back as soon as you cross them. Yeah, yeah that, that is very true. Fun. Yeah, that is, I've, I've never heard a uh, commander, a squad leader, not want to clear a compound. Um, like I, I kind of see where he's coming from, like going in there and then just all of a sudden losing three guys and having that little spar. But like you just said, if you push past and they come out later, I mean, you got your back to them. Yeah, that could be a that could be a bloody mess on the other way. Um, we'll see how it works. It sounds like uh, they're actually kind of gonna, from what I understood of the brief, I was a little distracted. Uh, they're kind of gonna miss the main uh, cache location down in the southwest. Uh, but who knows what they're going to push out over there. Although it sounds like we might get to listen in on that one in just a second here. Yeah, we got INS right now doing their platoon brief. Nobody on team was happy about it, probably. Because apparently yeah. Best Tony said that we weren't going to be there. Zero chance. Zero chance. <laughs> I feel like oh, this was like yeah, because everyone failed them. them. Yeah, they just had shitty intel yeah. and got to see what happens when that happens. Like, like that's still a, that's like, still a simulation. Echo seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is some great audio here. Echo seven. Troops on the ground talking shit before an op. Post up there. Then OD Cap Squad is gonna send a fire team up on this hill, and he's gonna have one fire team back here trying to super fob this this area. So. We're going to have a logistics truck running from INS resupply in Sharpie 7, and we're going to basically build up this fob into a very, very good fob. And if you take contact, it's too heavy for you, feel free to fall back. Just report it into your SL. Uh, we're going to kind of see where they move, and as the situation develops, we'll shift forces around, try and flank them, catch them in between our two, uh, basically, forces in the north and the south, and uh, annihilate them before they ever get here. If they do get close to the cat, you know, we're gonna hopefully have it built up enough to be a pretty good Alamo. Uh, anyone have any questions? Who's our HPT? HPT oh, is me. That would be, uh, so I'm going to sit <laughs> probably right about here, right next to the radio and the cat, because they either have to kill me or blow it up. And there's not really any better buildings than that one for me to sit in. And you know, I'll be behind a couple sandbags, I'll avoid engaging, but if I die, you are to proceed immediately to their exfil location by any means necessary, occupy the hills above it and around it, and the building itself, and kill any area can you can find. So if I go down, abandon whatever mission you're currently on, and proceed towards that exfil with all possible speed. I don't care if you've got like some Americans mm -hmm. pinned in death. I don't care if you're getting engaged by like the whole US team here. Just try and find a way out of your situation and make your way towards that Foxtrot 7 keypad 5 area. Because if I go down, that's going to be the objective. And as long as we can prevent them from exfilling, we still win. All right. Question? Yep. Question. Uh, when we're falling back, um, when we're heading to the exfil, are we allowed to still scrounge up vehicles uh, in round? Absolutely. Vehicle no. scrounge is all round. So if you are headed towards that exfil and you can scrounge a bit, feel free to do it. Uh, just be aware that they're very loud, so the U.S. might hear you coming if you're, you know, driving up on them and attacking. But if it's going to get you there faster than them, then yeah, by all means, I'd absolutely suggest grounding a Vic if it's near you and you, you got to get to the next bill. Solid cut. Question? Yep. Uh, do we have, like, a head start on when we know that if you go down, or does, like, the U.S. know right away? The U.S., it's two minutes after I go down that the U.S. is informed. Um... So I don't have admin broadcast. 
So I will probably have to do it through level, but basically you're two minutes until it's called. It says for you to uh, do it yourself I'll in all chat in the doc. Positions. Oh, in all chat in the doc? All right, then I'll do it in all chat. Perfect. There we go. No admin broadcast required. Uh, they just might not see it, but I'm sure they will. Well, yeah. But yeah, but yeah I'm pretty sure I'll three times. This game. Still be good. Yeah, I'll, I'll no put No taker backers. Just to make sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm another quarter. Head start. Uh, yes. Yeah. Do we know for sure that the U.S. is starting at Maine? Uh, like... Yes, we do know that <laughs> the U.S. is starting at Maine. Why is all the right side African American? All the left side has like <laughs> almost all African American. That is, that is pretty. <laughs> Unless they decide not on the road. They put a no, fob no, up no, like no, Alpha One. Look. I, I get that it seems really <laughs> fishy that the fob was literally on the line and they chose to, like, the cash was last round they chose to use, but, you know, it's it's one of those things so when, where sometimes it'll just happen. Like, it's still a valid location. I think technically it's just that, obviously, it's very you know, like, it's the way that that It was that well well you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yep, I'm ready. my binox right now. Great question. It Great question. It was the will of a law that they saw in there. Pretty <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the INS is ready to go. Uh, so who do we have all set up for cameras this round, uh, Ted? Yeah, it looks like we got quite a few. Uh, so starting right, from roughly the top, we got Crazy Russian, Fembot, Big Yes, Digit, Google Trex, J Remick, On Solo, Level, CeeLo, Sedingo, Xbit, Shadow Ritual, and bringing up the end is Best Pony in no particular order. So yeah, there's a lot of cameras out there. We can get a lot of good uh, good angles going on. Uh, hopefully capture some good action from above and first person. And I hear we might even have some special features uh, for the first time in this op. We'll see if uh, we get to execute any of those. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> uh, looks like we got about a minute 30 to go <laughs> on, uh, until we're live. So live time is 1 hour 12 minutes uh, on the game clock. So minute 15 now. Oh, no, guys, looks like US is uh, sending three squads to the north, one to the west. Look at that beautiful, semi-beautiful uh, staggered column. Big yes, with those big binoculars. So regally scouting out the road ahead. What's down that road, big yes? Certain death? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Do we know when the op setting, like next minute or something? <laughs> oh, they're still going over stuff. Alright, cancel that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm. Oh, it looks did like they delay it again? Pushing it back. Yeah. So one ten. Okay. One ten is gonna be the new start time. So another two minutes and twenty or so seconds. Uh, looks like level. Saying that the U.S. team is taking a little bit uh longer. Then he anticipated to get ready to go. You must have some elaborate plans going on over there. Digging some, uh, some fancy traps. Maybe a flea flicker or two. Where are the uh, vehicles located for uh, the INS? Because I know they can scavenge them on this app op, correct? And they're scattered throughout the map? Unless I have my ops mixed up. Uh, yep, yeah, they can, uh, so Inus can scrounge for vehicles, uh, anyone, and any of them that they find on the map. Uh, they're, the U.S. is allowed to just take that trains only, though. So, and actually, I do have a correction. I did say that level was on U.S. He's not on the U.S. He's on Insurgents. He is the lone scout going way up to the north and uh, wasn't getting into position in time. Uh, he looks like he's heading back now. Wait, so the INS can start anywhere on that side of the border? Or I thought they all had to start at the cache. I think I should uh, read the README file, get better acquainted with these. I do. That was a debated rule. Uh, I know earlier it wasn't fully clear in the first session. And right now, 
I think they're opting with that they have to be near the cache to start with in like the grid square. Um, yeah, it seems like you could be pretty gamey. If not, you could just start everybody right on that line and push east and uh, try to recreate that ambush that happened last game. But, uh, right, I, I know it's yeah. a debated rule. Just It's not fully clear in the briefing document. Uh, so looks like after tonight, they're going to be firming that one down. Yeah, I'm sure we'll go over all the finer points after uh, after the op. Tweak anything that needs to be tweaked. So we should be live in the next five seconds here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Going live. There's the call. We're live. Good luck, Just plan. We got three squads going north. Big yes pushing out west on foot. Except Frank Castle appears to have fallen asleep on his feet. You know, that standing insomnia, big, big issue in uh, Afghanistan, I hear. Wake up, buddy. You can do it. Your team, oh, oh he's awake. He's moving now. Okay. <laughs> he's realized uh, he's about 150 yards behind. He's picking up the pace. Uh, to answer a question quick in the uh, Twitch chat, we've got uh, Sergeant Salty Soldier who asked about a stream. Wow, whoa, a little bit of tongue twister there for me. Uh, stream schedule. Uh, our stream schedule is Saturday nights uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern for the NI session. Is that right, Tavish? It's 6 p.m. Uh, yeah, Western. So yeah, it's gonna be 9 p.m. Okay. Eastern. Yeah, we only stream the uh, NA events at this point. I'm sure there's plans to do all of them in the future once we get. You know, we're all getting big fat paychecks for this, and uh, <laughs> you know, full time. That'd be great. Um, you know, twenty dollars here and there. But uh, yeah, for now, I believe it's just the NA session Saturdays. How are the uh, INS laying themselves out here? So it looks like they're breaking out into little small fire team groups um, all around from where that cache location is. They're not pushing out too far. They're just getting a nice spread around. Very easy if they need to fall back to the cache location. They all they all could. They're all within probably about a minute sprint of doing so. So. Uh, yeah, not. Oh, it looks like we do have one fire team that is actually just trying to push into the city a little bit. I don't know if they're going to keep going or not, but basically all in the southern part. Yeah, it looks like Hamlet getting embedded in there. That is definitely a defensive doctrine that I I believe in. A lot of people will put all of their people in one hard point right around what you're trying to defend, and that is a critical error because uh, once they get surrounding that hard point, uh, there's nowhere to fall back to. You need to have multiple lines of defense that can flexibly fall as they need and be reinforced. So yeah, this is a nice uh, flexible defense here, it looks like. Yeah, they got a nice semicircle out with the mountains on their back. The U.S. is pretty much matching here. Pretty much a giant line with a hole in the middle of it for providing a overwatch here. You might call it a, a silent vigil. Uh, and then uh, one, two, and five on the north. I would not be surprised if the majority of the U.S. team encounters who is this Truth Realm up here and level along with uh, Matter, Legit, Asel, Asel, Asel. We'll go with Asel. Gamers would never have disrespectful names like that, right? <laughs> never. They're going to be in for a world of hurt, though. If they get isolated, they're going to get stuck in this compound and enveloped and devoured by the U.S. team coming down on them here. This is a full two squads versus a seven-man. Yeah, this is, this is not going to... Ooh, we got just yeah the small little squad pushing right into a huge front of guys. Uh, shit's gonna go down real quick. 
Alright, if they're going Yeah. Right, Ooh, one good grenade. Right, I mean, granted, they don't know each other there yet, but one good grenade on those insurgents. That's, uh, six kills right there. Hey, oh, got a motorbike. Got Google yeah. tracks. Is he gonna uh, fire on him? somewhere around Crow Hill. Uh, that's nope. Golf 9. Let's him go. Uh, they're man, they're that's just... Exactly they're all, like, man, they're getting, getting, getting kind of surrounded now. Nope. Oh, contact goes out. Alright, um, tap. Holy crap, I can Clock. confirm north Down. on top of us. Yeah, Truth Realm, that is the squad leader for that squad, and I just heard him Is he gonna fire uh, on him? Somewhere around Crow Hill. Uh, that's nope. Golf nine. Let's him go. I would be distressed at that too, I mean, those are some very angry, very fast people. Not people. Ooh, oh, and there he goes. he just went down. Truth Realm went Excellent. down, that was squad lead four. Fox 9, T5 was the call for that enemy. Who was that, 203? That was a brilliant low angle shot. Actually, I guess it had a back wall, so it's just a good shot. I'm not gonna call it brilliant. It's like it. CMYK Matter oh, is it. going to Advanced be the uh, two I see the second in command for Squad Four here. Right. Have yet to hear him come over command comms and update the squad lead situation. These guys are gonna advance nice and slow here. They got contact. They still got what one, two, three, four, five, six left. Level about to take contact with the Silverman. Axel, you have any oh, shit. Silverman oh, fires shit. prematurely. Warns level, what's up? Level is getting out. Now, looks like this is about three shit. squads, Tedish. Uh, three US squads pushing into this area. Copy that one, go for it. Is it three? Oh, yeah, well, they uh, looks like they got backed up by. Yeah, this is one, two, and three coming in with command lagging behind. Keep that three area. Which Hamlet yeah. and Alagash might, uh, Agalok, Agalok, might, uh, might be able to stumble on command here if they get lucky. Yeah, they're completely wrapped around now. I, who, I'm very curious to know if they have any idea how many U.S. troops are surrounding their position right now. And level bites it in the north. So it's just these three guys left, hiding, cowering. They have a decent defensive position here. By decent, I mean really not that decent. It's it's pretty bad. There, it's it's looking bad. And I, I took off uh, the names for one second, and I just see tons of uh, U.S. guys all over the place. And just to know that amongst all these, there's a couple little uh, INS left. <laughs> oh, man. Just the trio. Anything else going on the rest of the map here? It looks like it's pretty quiet. Still got the Overwatch crew I'm gonna keep my going up on the uh, Squad 4 and Golf 7 area. Other than that, all the action is over here in uh, what is it, Delta 4. Look direct front, Kilo. We're looking left and right for you. Everybody taking it. Taking hearing it nice some, and slow. Yeah, I'm hearing some pop shots over here, but I'm not right. really seeing... Oh! Okay, so they definitely know there's still people here. There's definitely engagement and uh, nade just went off as well. Squad 1 just called it in that they got multiple contacts in this field right just, just south of them. So they know what's up. Silas, I need you guys to try and pull back. And go to I got the plenty of reinforcements here. Oh, a nade going out from Raz Grits could be good. We're gonna see oh, this, uh, oh. Northern approach to the enemy. Matter We're just ate that, that grenade in his chin. But uh, looks like Raz Grits's grenade did get one. I didn't catch who that was. Uh, I got, oh, it looks like a couple U.S. are just looking over this field. If Hasgriz or Asshole get up, uh, uh, to go up the hill to they're gonna... Oh, man, I would not want to be either of these two right now. That's such a terrifying situation to be in. You're, like, prone in the field. Oh, Ooh, oh, they both go down. Let's see, it looks like that was Wantap Man. Wantap Man got uh, both of them. Saw him crawling through the field and just dropped him. I believe that's all that was left there for the 
Oh, Hamlet. Hamlet. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So gonna... Hamlet coming behind him, snuck by X-Bit. They probably didn't even realize how close he was to the Allied command. Hamlet opening fire with his tracers. They're gonna know exactly where he is. Bandaging. Looks like he did get one of them. Oh, that 203 is doing work. Who was that? Another, another great shot. Was that Remick? I can't tell. I, I, I'm just shooting blind at the. Word on the street is he's uh, pretty handy with his 203, and he's got one, so it very well could have been him. Didn't quite see where it came from, but. Are you able to pull back to me? I'm hit. Can't see anything right now. And that's it for the U.S. and uh, the insurgents in this area. So. They will be pushing on, continuing their plan to swoop. I believe the plan was to move to the Charlie Delta line and then uh, head south into Charlie Delta 6. And then regroup at that point. Probably going to have a little lull in the action here as uh, everyone regroups and uh, repositions, figures out what's going on. If you've never done one of these ops, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's insanely different from normal squads. The they can't get eyes the adrenaline you can get uh, when you're not in contact, but you're expecting it. Because you know that you'll never, uh, you know, one life. And then you're done. And then you get to watch, which is pretty fun, too. It's very, very intense knowing that <laughs> during the entire, you know, 20 a 40 minute operation if you go down that's it i mean there's two rounds but it, it it adds so much more pressure to check every corner take every little like step carefully because if you walk in a compound and there's a dude watching it that's it I remember one of my uh, my first ops was a uh, old school oh, yeah, silent vigil. Four vehicles were around, and I was brand new, coming in, and uh, I don't remember. I was like fourth or fifth in the column, walking by, and then all of a sudden, I notice a barrel sticking out of a bush, not 15 feet away. And this this crafty insurgent must he must have waited, you know, and he he had to have known our whole column was there. But uh, man, I. I did a double take on it. I was like, that is definitely a guy. I'm up and uh, yeah, the adrenaline dump right there. I'm just, just that one, one silly little kill. It's just, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, cause yeah, like you're walking with those guys and you see that little barrel and know that if you just start shooting right now or lob a nave or something, not only you, but then all the people you're with gone, done. Yeah, and if you were to screw up or he were to notice that you're about to shoot, yeah, it's intense. It is so intense, and you get that adrenaline rush. Oh, such a great experience. Yeah, it'd be great to see what we can do uh, developing this into more of a more of a mod and less of just an organized. You know, it takes, it takes a lot of organization to set one of these off. A lot of people have to do a lot of things right. But if we can get a lot more of it automated and... Oh, man. Possibilities. So many possibilities. For sure. 100%. And looks like that northern U.S. force is just starting to push into the, the boundary of the most northern... INS for us now. It looks like we got Silas, squad three lead. Uh, held him in a compound. It looks like he's reporting the contact right now. Copy. Got that uh, US squad moving in. Copy that. One tap if you want to send is calling in nothing. He's saying no contact. Out somewhere to the east to try and get eyes looks like there. he's the command of the squad right now. This and is, also, Benbot, this be, is uh, squad fact, two, so. You Bravo Bravo okay? Eric got yep. went down. Set up a, uh, techie with over there. Yep. Yeah, so I well, will, if they I keep up the original tactic of just to not clear compounds and to push past that. Oh, yeah, let's let's see if that right, order gets followed. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean that. It, it'd be interesting to see how that would work out because this is less guys. So manpower-wise, it'd be really easy 
for them just to clear him out, but... I can't imagine. Like, if I was the squad leader at this point, there's no way that I would... that I would just let this happen. I wouldn't clear this compound. You would not? No, there's no way that I wouldn't. Oh, some, someone's found somebody. Who's firing? All right, X-Bit. I've got eyes on their cash or suspecting, suspecting trust. These Go guys are all network. embedded. All right, copy that. So it looks like the guy that went down was part of Silas's squad. Uh, over command comms, Silas said their scout went down who's just to the southeast of uh, Silas here. Yep, 345 of Hill. 345 of the Hill. If they'll, ever, if they'll want to spread out, try and get in a place where they can't we be have shot. A grenade just went off C8, C8 K5. U.S. still has a, a fire team way back, Gulf 7, up on uh, just northeast of uh, affectionately named Crow's Hill. Just chilling back there. Man, we have contacts. Maybe drinking some tea, hot chocolate late at night. Spike it with a little, is, little coffee. All right, so the enemy cache is to our northwest. Stay awake on these long ops. It is confirmed in the DA. Yeah, one tap squad is not going to clear that compound. They're just going to push past. Wow, and uh, Silas, put, they, yeah, I think Silas said that they were just going to hold out too. Yeah, they were going to let him pass and then try and come in from behind. That's what it sounded like Silas was uh, wanting to do. So that's going to play out well. Because the U.S. Kind of, or the insurgents know that contact's there. It's been reported. So, yeah, it's kind of brilliant on on uh, who's leading the squad now. It's the Juan Tap because uh, if, if you know shit hits the fan and all those guys die, he can totally just point the finger at Commander and be like, "Hey, you told <laughs> you told us not to check it, so uh, we didn't." But uh, yeah, there's no way, there's no way uh, I would have. Oof, that's a tough one. Yeah. I still got visual on those enemy contacts. They're moving it's south. Like Fenbots down north. here. With a techie. Roger that. Oh, a reinforced techie. So they're coming from the north? Hey, firm. Staring at the skyline. Pokes, well, do you have eyes on if the north? Have a visual, hit him. Yeah, I do. I'm looking. It's in that compound. Big ass yeah. gun. Personally, I feel like techies are death traps. Being on the gun, what's, you're stationary, uh, they know exactly where you are as soon as you fire. But, uh, in, you know, one life events, our events, they, they can definitely that. change things up. I got Digit walking up on, oh, yep, just happened. He walked on Evan SMA, who is looking over on uh, the west here. Digit's uh, lone wolfing out here. Uh, stand by. Might have, might have been one loner. Uh, ben Pot just radioed out the contact of uh, either, yeah, of Digit. of Either Digit or Silverman, but he said that it was because they lost one. Oh, got a 50 caliber of the techie. Yeah, opening he just up got right a great now. shot on it. He just looks, he just looks. Why is he reading the flyer that the detergent dropped? Come on, Digit. You're like checking his pockets for loose change. Come on. Better things to do right now. And wipe out their, their guys from behind. I'm surprised you didn't uh, see this techie. Can't hit the cache location from the east. He's moving down. He's got in a great position, man. Digit, you could uh, you could be the hero right here. Take out a squad leader. Right? Benbot squad leading, correct? That is correct. Beat on him. Uh, you he, he should see them. You should definitely see them at this point. Yeah, there's a, uh, contact. Uh, he... What? Oh yeah, he just radioed right there now. He, goes. he just... Now he sees uh... them. I see, I can take the shot. He said oh. direct north. He did... oh! oh! Brilliant, he waited for the 203. Okay. Yeah, we just took a GL. 203. Yeah, they're, they're raiding right now, the 203, but uh, they're work. still up. They're both still up. One's down, Han Solo down, Ben bot. Bandaging? Nope, still got his binoculars. Copy. They're just moving in for the kill. 
Silas and his guys are still in the back. That, that blue smoke just browned Benbot's pants, to borrow a phrase from Karma. He is piecing out. He's had enough of this shit. <laughs> he almost flips the techie. Oh. <laughs> He's out of there. He's gone. Oh wow! Look at this little pillbox that uh, they got going here. Oh, we got one of the U.S. stacked up outside of the FOB compound right now, and the rest of them uh, that must be a squad is slowly uh, to follow. Oliver panic firing into the woods, taking fire, wow. firing back. Benbot might get dropped right here by Buckshot. Oh, and he did. He went down. I think Buckshot got him on this techie over here. So we got that. Digit one and advancing. They are advancing. That's not a confusing name for uh. Oh, we got Silas. They're coming from behind right now. Just heard him radio Man, to, to make sure that they'll check job. fire. Just 360 degrees enveloping this thing. They figured out where it was. Remember to conserve ammo. Get to the walls and hold. Looks like the U.S. just neutralized the uh, techie bunker. Want to happen advancing. Yeah, it looks like the advancing heavy push in. is starting to happen. Yep. Where's their command at at this point? Best Pony is the G3. command. He's stuck in the little corner out by the by the radio. It's just below me right now. Shoot, they're at that 300 right. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm moving on that wow, that's a that's a lot of sandbags. Yeah, they definitely took the time uh, to build this whole whole area up. Lots of razor Ooh. wire, lots of sandbags. They're putting shots on Best Pony. With his personal honor guard, Skelly. Yeah, we got, looks like two fire teams. One on the, the north part of the compound, one on the south, slowly starting to make their way in right now. About matched on numbers, though, for the compound. So, here comes that uh, fire team they left in the woods. Sham walking up on a trio right now. He's going to take out Krusty. He should. Is Krusty it just not a sham? There was three of them. Yeah, it looks like Jack Reynolds broke off to the side. Kind of coming up behind Xbit. If uh, Xbit and Lil Jin expose themselves with some fire, he should know. Sham, though. Oh, this is, this is going to hurt. Command. Go. You want us to move uh, the rest of my oh, team in? Oh, Krusty's calling over radio. He's like, what do you want me to do? Little does he know. Oh, it's going to hurt. He's got his... Oh, and there goes Krusty. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead and move in three. Try to uh, get that. Cash. And Fascinator. Sham doing work. Got a CeeLo. CeeLo knows what's up. He heard that firing. He's no dummy. Looks like Odie Tap and his squad were effectively able to keep it off, but they got down the INS command. So now the US is going to have to exfil. They won't have to make that known to the US side for another minute 30 or so. So does U.S. know for sure, or does uh, do you think U.S. knows that they killed? Because I, I have not heard the the call no. that hey we got the commander. They do not know. Talking to him, hold on. No one. They hadn't. The U.S. hadn't been able to make it into the compound, so they wouldn't been able to verify by bodies or anything like that. Oh. Uh, goes and down. Sham doing work. For the most part, INS doesn't even really know that that has happened to begin with, unless there's just so little numbers. Which, that's what I think it is. I think Inus is so depleted on infantry where right. word can't get out of what's going on. What's left? Is it just the three of them? Skelly, Jean-Michel Vicent. It was the three on the point, then there's Sham, and then, uh... I think that might be it. Just those four. Oh yeah, and Sham up in the hills. How could I forget about him? Oh, down to two now. We got tap, classic tap, and uh, Sham. All right, they're down. Sham's in a good position here. They don't know he's there. He took out everyone that knew he was around. Got ears on the 
cash down there. How many are left on the U.S.? One, two, uh, three, four, five, the six. Oh, there's plenty. There's a uh, probably a twelve or thirteen left on the U.S. You don't hear any fob or anything. No, but they're definitely in this compound. Multiple. OD Tabs just hanging tight in the compound. He's got Buckshot that's in it with him. Ooh. Oh, and he just got Buckshot down. Looks like the, the broadcast has been made notifying the everyone that the INS command went down, which was the high value target. OD Tap is uh, probably pretty excited about that. It means he actually gets to live for another couple minutes. U.S. is not making, uh, not beating around the bush about getting the hell out of Dodge. This, this quad right here is just beelining it straight out. Loco, Crispy, Advancing, and Juan been together for a while here. Looks like Sham might be cutting them off at the pass. He figures if he can get there before them, shoot him as they come in. That's probably what I'd be trying to do. Yeah, U.S. still has a what a five pack on the South Hills. Uh, Odie Temp knows that uh, there's someone on the on the hill watching him, which is Little Jin, who is essentially just pinning down Odie Tap. And uh, it's quite comical. Odie Tap is a uh, little little concerned right now. So Sham has made it to the Xville site, or at least what he believes to be the Xville site. He definitely won the foot race there. Oh, OD Tap just went yeah. down. He was taking the techie out and Digit saw him and just lit him up. Beautiful shot by so Digit. Beautiful. We are in last man standing. SPC Sham, who I believe has probably five five kills at this point. Yep, techie's down. Sham is going further than he needs to. He might not be entirely clear uh, where the Expo site is at this point. I believe I believe he's on it. I believe this is the... Oh, is this it? I thought it was a little bit further west, but okay. Uh, nope, that is the, the compound that he just right. uh, left from to the southwest. Left. That is correct. It's keypad 5 of that grid square. Maybe he's getting an Overwatch position. Yep, he's turning around. Oh, that is a nice view, too, especially with those Maybe. troops starting to move up. Oh, man, he twists his ankle. Got to watch those rocks. It sounded like it hurt. All right, coming down to it. Juan Tap coming into the Xville. Sham going in with his... Uh, Punched over Kung Fu stance here. It's got to be a, that's a good side crunch exercise right there. <laughs> Hold that for 10 minutes. Abs and uh, steel. Oh, he's got a beautiful view on a bunch of them oh, right now. Oh, wow, oh, yeah. wow, oh, wow. wow. That was comical oh. how perfect that was. <laughs> oh, man. As they leave the compound, he enters. Chanta. Oh. I don't know if it was just so dark that he didn't notice them, or maybe he did see them and didn't want to engage because of the numbers. But... I mean, this is tough. What do you do with Sham at this point? You kind of got to... There's two ways to do it in my mind. You either got to hit and run, and be a ghost. You kill one, you disengage. You totally disappear. You go come at him from a different angle. 
or B, you hard point up and uh, hope hope that they come in one at a time. Either way, low chance of survival. Although he doesn't know how many are left. He probably has an idea. That's very true. Oh, we got someone going to come in right now. Command, going down. Oh! Brutal. Beautiful. That was their command, too. But now, now all everyone knows that this compound has got someone in it. He made the decision. He's hard pointing up, and his feet are sticking out the back. This is where, yeah, yeah. This is where body awareness. You got to realize the limitations of the engine. It's a pet peeve of mine. Don't go. Oh, he's got some beautiful comms right now. He's just humming a little tune to himself, saying, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm gonna get fucked. I'm gonna get fucked." <laughs> Noko coming up right behind him. Sham just rotates. Hmm, so we might have a little miscommunication here. It sounds like the U.S. think that they're oh, done. Oh, Nade? Like, right, Nade coming in? We're holding the exfil site. They gotta come to us, is what they just said. Sham looks like came up un untouched by that grenade. Yeah, it looks like the grenade somehow went in the house. I didn't see who threw it, but... That was for, advan uh, advancing? Here we go, Zoko. Oh. Zoko advancing. Get the fuck in here. Bitches, it's just me. Little lonely me. Get the fuck in here. <laughs> Get the fuck in here. Sounds like these are like, you wonder if they know how close they are to each other. Oh. He had to have heard that. Yeah, I feel like at this point there's a miscommunication as far as uh, where the exfil site is. Well, so there isn't one specific location. It's the the whole whole grid the square. It's just me, right? Versus a whole damn enemy team. Oh, hi, Lemo. Are you alive? I mean, I would clear it. My what do we got? One, two. Big yes, it's little Jin up in the hill to the I'm east. Excuse me. Yeah, it is the east. Three, four. He's ghosts. Okay, get rid of some of these floaties. I don't know, it's looking pretty clear up here. I think it's just Bar these shags trying to get to Expo. Probably. I'm gonna move up to my overwatch position. I'll be able to let you know if they're coming. Little Jim. Yeah. Digit's gonna disconnect in a few minutes, so. Oh, Sham oh, is taken. Him. The hill right. contingent spotted him. He's gonna fucking die anyway. He's bandaging in the fields. Yeah, with them spotted They're now, looks like the. Field. Yeah, they certainly are. Now those uh, closer ground troops for the U.S. are gonna start trying to clear them out. They did hit Sham. He, he's patching right now. Yeah. Oh, they hit him uh, right away when he was still in the compound. And then he dove into the field. Maybe he hit him again. Oh, he's getting hit by someone. Through either the guy in the Looks staircase like or the murder hole. A little gin, I believe. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Blue smoking. smoke right on his position. You, your grenades, and your machine guns, and your suppression. Oh, and down he goes. 
Nice work. Oh, that was a beautiful end. Good game by both teams. Juan tap, five eliminations, advancing three, digit two, Silverman four. Glad <laughs> two did work on the US. GG, everybody. Thanks for patience. Surgeons. Surgeons took home yeah, Kahuna. I thought people were disconnecting at this point. Yeah, that was a great, uh, good one. That was that was a very good one. That was a uh, very action packed yeah. for that. Both that games, location. very different. Very, very, yeah, a lot of fun. Fun to commentate. Fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. So that's gonna be just about it. That was the end of the second round. Uh, very good rounds for both teams. If you're interested in knowing more about our operations, please check out our red our website squadops.gg uh, we run these of these kind of events every week we run them on Wednesdays and two on Sun or on Saturday um, as well as some other things that go on throughout the week but uh, yeah check us out squadops.gg or check our stream again next week next Saturday we typically will uh, stream the the Saturday session at 9 o'clock Eastern uh, 9 p.m. Eastern uh, next week we might have a little different schedule it is going to be a very special weekend next weekend for us it is going to be the <laughs> squad ops one year anniversary of us starting so we might have some special things planned and uh could be a little bit different for next weekend but if you're interested in our ops or want to check us out or know more um, again visit our website squadops.gg uh thank you for for joining us here any closing thoughts ted uh, not not particularly great op you know, they're always they're always good. Doesn't matter who wins, who loses. Everyone has a good time. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, that is right. It's about the experience and not about uh, who wins or loses. It's all about that experience. Well, thank you for everyone for joining us, and hope you have a great rest of your evenings.